I was giving some thought to the use of a bullnose plane and I thought I'd do a quick video on these three planes or these yeah three planes and a, and a chisel and just talk about what you use a bullnose for or what you can use a bullnose for and where they really aren't all that helpful so I'm gonna look at a Stanley 78 a Stanley 75 a Stanley 93 shoulder plane and a chisel just to illustrate what bullnose planes do. The Stanley 78, uh, they call it a duplex rabbit plane because there is the ability to take the blade from the normal setting in this plane and move it up to the front and it becomes a bullnose plane and uh, again it's probably best use is for what you'd call a stopped dado uh, or a stopped rabbit it's a rabbit in the edge of a wood that uh, doesn't come all the way to the end so it creates basically the same thing as a Stanley 75 bullnose plane only it's got obviously a lot longer sole and that little bit of sole that sticks out in front of the plane on the Stanley 78 is actually level with the rest of the sole. Stanley 75 this little tiny bullnose plane is a little bit different in that even though you have an adjustable mouth that little bit of sole that is out in front of the blade is actually not level with the rest of the sole. It's a little bit higher. Uh, it allows you to sort of sneak up on things. I'll show later where this is pretty handy to perhaps uh, level off a dowel that you've put into a piece of wood or maybe scraping uh, glue squeeze out. Anyway, handy little plane super cheap online used uh, on eBay little mini bullnose plane number 75 then the Stanley number 93 shoulder plane uh, you're able to pull the front sole off of that plane and the blade still stays with the plane and it operates very much like a chisel plane uh, the blade stays with this little bit of the, the back part of the sole and it allows you to sneak right up to the edge of something very much like just a chisel in your hand. The beauty of it is that it's holding that blade dead flat with the sole of the plane and you're able to work right up to, for instance, the end of a stopped rabbit. Or again, things like leveling off a dowel. And then finally, just a chisel chisel which sort of does the same thing all these other things do and in some ways maybe better and I'll show you that in a minute as well. So four different ways to do a bull nose: a 78, a 75, a 93 or just a chisel. Let me explain this with a an illustration. Here is a stopped rabbit. Basically a stopped rabbit, like I said, is just a rabbit that doesn't make it all the way to the end of the board. It stops with a, a hard stop. In this case like a 90 degree wall that you'd run into. The problem is if you use like a Stanley 78 with a blade in the middle of the plane, it doesn't make it to the end of the stopped rabbit. You end up with a ramp uh, like this and you've got quite a bit of wood to remove. You need to remove uh, basically this piece uh, that I've shown here, uh, this ramp, you still have to remove all that wood and you can't get there with the normal rabbit plane. So if you switch to the blade in the front of the plane or switch to a Stanley 75 bullnose rabbit plane, you're able to get a little bit closer to that end. You still end up with a ramp, but you end up with a shorter ramp and you have less wood to remove and you would be able to remove that little bit of wood. Generally, you'd finish that off with a chisel and you'd remove this last little triangle and you'd end up with your stop dado. So that's where these bullnose planes come in handy to get the blade out in the front or as close to the front of the plane as you can. Or like in the case of that Stanley 94, 
you could use that right up to the stop because it would act very much like a chisel in your hand. Another handy use for these is just cleaning up, uh, cleaning up rabbits. Here's the Stanley 93, and again, it's like a chisel. The beauty of this is it's holding the chisel dead flat with the sole of the plane, dead flat with the surface of the sole, so you have no issues of digging in and taking a chunk of wood out. It's basically acting like a chisel plane. Here is the Stanley 78 with the blade in the front. Again, it just allows you to do maybe little finesse things where you're kind of able to control it a little closer. And uh, uh, however, this would work just as well in this scenario with the blade in the center of the plane. Uh, here's just using a chisel to clear that out. Um, Anyway, just three ways where you can use these planes to do things like clean up, little finesse. Another handy use for these, I mentioned glue cleanup. Uh, they were great for that, of course, but to level off a dowel, see here that Stanley 75, because that front little bit of sole is not level with the back of the sole, uh, you're able to sneak up on something like this dowel end with the blade and uh, shave that off, yet you're holding the blade just about level with the flat surface of the board so that what you end up getting when you uh, shave the edge of that dowel off, you end up getting a dowel that's very close to level uh, with the rest of the wood, a little bit of sandpaper then. Rather than trying to grind these down with a sander from the get-go, this gets you really, really, really close and you can just finish it up with sandpaper. So here's a Stanley 93. And again, if you pull the front part of the sole, I guess it's technically the toe of the plane off, you have what is, in essence, a chisel plane. And I, I've left these dowels uh, too tall. I'm going to just get these a lot closer with a, a Japanese saw. And... Uh, that's a good way to get them really close. It's still proud of the wood, and so now with this little, uh, what maybe you'd now call a chisel plane, you're able to sneak right up on that dowel end and basically shave it, shave it even with the top of the board. You have control. You don't have the fear of digging in, and with a little bit of sandpaper, you get a nice level dowel finish with the Stanley 93 Again, using it like a chisel plane. I'll cut the rest of these off to get them out of the way, just to get them close. And uh, uh, also, just as a, a, a point of interest, a Japanese saw on its side like this, with a little bit of pressure down on the, the blade, gives you a, a nice clean cut without marring up the surface of the wood. So here's the... Uh, Stanley 78, and again, here where this is probably not the right choice because that little nose or part of the sole or toe of the sole is kind of in some ways in the way. And I would probably not suggest using a Stanley 78 for this purpose of leveling off a dowel. Here's just a chisel, and if you are able to hold the flat of the chisel against the flat of the board, it pretty much protects you from digging in, and you'll see with just a little bit of work, these are pretty stubborn dowels, but just a little bit of work, I'd get a very, very, very level finish just using a hand chisel, which I probably would recommend in some ways over all this other stuff, just because a chisel is uh, super handy. It's in your hand, ready to go. Uh, here, I'm just trying that again. Didn't really work out. I'd do another one with the, uh, the Stanley 75. And again, uh, get a really nice finish with that. Um, just quick, handy, and readily available uh, in your hand. And then, then honestly, I just thought, well, I think I'll try this with a, a block plane. Sure enough, if you're careful and barely set that blade proud of the plane, block plane gets it awfully close to, again, a little bit of sandpaper, and you get nice level dowels. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a quick look at the idea of a bullnose or getting the blade out close to the front of the blade or of the plane. The Stanley Duplex 78 
gives you that ability to move the blade up to the front. The Stanley 75 Bullnose Rabbit Plane is designed that way. And the Stanley 93 Shoulder Plane allows you to pull the toe off and have basically a chisel plane. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.